Welcome back. Let's take a look at some mistakes that I made last time in the form of this puzzle. Uh, and then thereafter we'll play some games. So, believe it or not, I am human. I do make mistakes, particularly if I'm playing too quickly. Um, whether that's by my own volition or just by the force of the time control. So, during the last game, I had a selection between taking a knight or dropping a rook and then maybe taking the knight later. I'm trying to recall what I did. Oh, right, so I had reviewed this game afterward um, with the assistance of Giko too. And Giko noted that if I drop the rook, this gold can advance away from the king. And the king that's surrounded by only one general... Well, I'm sorry, there's still a second general there, but still, the gold and silver um would put up a good resistance here and the king that it seems weakly defended just doesn't have a way of being attacked so the rook drop just loses the ability to take this knight for free because i'd have to after this gold moves move the rook again therefore the right move is to just take the knight and look for chances later note that this is an even game some answers to puzzles aren't about finding the winning move. Some answers about finding the best move. And the best move isn't always going to win. Whereas in the game, I picked this rook drop, and then my opponent was able to attack my rook. They didn't, but they had the ability to do this. And suddenly, I'm under a severe attack, and still the knight is here too, ready to jump into the attack as well. So, this would have been disastrous. Um, thankfully, I got lucky, but I don't think it was enough to win the game, because my opponent was still pretty tactically astute. Either way, let's play some 10-minute games and have some fun. Good luck. My sound is breaking up. Last time that happened, uh, it came back together again after a number of moves. Um, right, now I've played this before. If you take the pawn, bishop 5-5 five five is actually dangerous. So you need to do something other than taking the pawn directly. Here, bishop 5-5 five five is not as dangerous because you can actually attack the bishop directly. I don't know if gold here is appropriate. If I hit, takes, 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 no. This bishop attack cannot be sustained here. What am I missing? Takes, takes. They could sack any piece. Oh, and then they could drop again. Alright, I challenge you to keep your bishop here. The challenge is set. You could sack two pieces to get a piece and then drop a piece here. But if that's not your plan, then this bishop might need to move somewhere. Um, I'm guessing that's not your plan. All right, let me try to fix my breaking audio by toggling my speaker off and on. Off, on, oh, they did sack. I have to admit, I didn't expect that to happen. So here, I will take this. Sure. Okay. Point taken. They do have some temporary initiative here. Um, 
If I run away, they promote. So that's not so great. Well, it doesn't look great. Hmm. Could be interesting. It, just, it looks scary, but... I don't know. It looks interesting, too. So I'm threatening to take the pawn directly in front of my opponent's king. I'm also threatening to drop a pawn in front of my opponent's rook. Also, I'm threatening a bishop drop that could win this token. So. Threats do abound. Um... I don't have anything that's decisive, per se. Hmm. Nanafun. Decision making is challenging. Okay, let's try to use my bishop. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've given up my only pawn for this, whatever this is. Gofun.
This, I guess, is some sort of flipped fourth file rook thing. Um, Hmm. This is a threat. This damn token over here is making many threats on my space. I can't be allowed to stay there. What a mess. So my opponent has the ability to get my other rook. Um, I'll pull my castle together here a bit. But yeah, I'm in trouble. Oh, two knights. I forgot about that one. That's not great. Nifun. <laughs> Here I am playing chicken. And by that I mean my move is cowardly. But what can I do? Their attack looks quite severe. I have to take it seriously. Mm-hmm. That was probably the wrong square. Two up would probably be better. Okay. 
Okay, this activates my pieces. Hmm. Well, Sanjubio. It's a hot mess. Do I ever win game one on a day? Don't think I do. Nijibio. Jubio <laughs> Thanks for the game. I need to manage my time better. I say that, but I think my time management was okay. My overall skill needs still needs work, but the time management was fine. Good luck. All right, I've been shying away from this. This uh move for several games. But yeah, we're gonna play this now. Hmm. I already forget the best way to do this. They're intending to put, uh, bury their king in the corner. Sort of playing all these waiting moves in between to see if they're really going to do it. Um,
Hmm. That's an interesting choice of move order. And what I've done might look insane, but there's some merit to it. Nana Fun. Oh, right. <laughs> I forgot I had a piece hanging there. Um, that's not even the biggest deal. There's so much going on in this position. I'm surprised to meet an opponent playing with such an aggressive spirit. Um, So this pawn is pinned to the horse. I'm attacking a silver, I'm attacking a lance. Mm -hmm. We'll see what they block. Oh, I let them block. Why did I let them block? I was confident I could remove the blockade, but 
There wasn't a need for me to do this. I'm guessing they might slow down. This removes their ability to block with a pawn. Thanks for the game. I expected them to fight on a little bit longer. Um, maybe I'm winning there? I'm not completely sure. There are many chances, but I'm better, but I don't know if I'm winning. Good luck. <laughs> Man, I want to push that fourth fall pawn so badly. We just get a rush of tactics that happen when I play that. Uh, yeah, I was winning a horse, but like my rook was under attack, and it was it was not entirely clear. A horse actually would not decide that game. You'd need more pieces, I think. All right, so ah, oh, this looks exciting. Wait. Okay, you don't normally push this pawn, but I suspected that, so I pushed this pawn in advance. Um, since breaking this file is often useful in this opening. Um, we'll just send the silver up directly. Mm hmm. So they've not initiated any attack on the left side, so I'm playing very aggressively on the right side. Oh, for a second I thought, oh well, they just take and then redrop the pawn here, uh, in front of my silver. I forgot they don't control the square either. Um, interesting.
If I take, they take my pawn, I drop here. Their bishop retreats. I take this pawn, and they take my silver, I take a bishop. Their silver takes, I've already divided their castle. It's interesting. We have a choice between two good options. I don't know what to do. I don't want to give them a silver because the silver could fork me back here. This is a tremendous foothold to have against this castle. Uh-huh. Oh, I blocked my bishop. I was so excited about the prospect of blocking this bishop from attacking my rook. But I forgot my own bishop can't use the same line now that the pawn's in the way. Alright, what's our next proverb? Let's find out. Defend against major pieces by drawing them closer. Interesting idea. Alright, our opponent retreats a bishop. Um... This means I have a fork between this pawn and that pawn. So I think they'll try to defend this and let this one go. They might try to sack this. I don't know. Oh, I'm mistaken. All right, let's do this. I was trying to think of any justification for retreating. Um, but yeah, there's not a need for me to dig further there. Slow, steady progress. <laughs> I guess I'll be content with that. That's a fork.
So now the knight's no longer preventing my rook from advancing. Just in case some fork shows up somehow, let's get my rook out of harm's way. Yes, yeah, there. this castle's not easy to disassemble from the side. There is a proverb about attacking it on the edge, but I'm not sure that that's going to be easy. I thought this point might be easy to defend, but now I see they can drop a silver and or even here. Um, all right, so now they do get a knight. Thankfully, my pawn is on one of these spaces that um, makes it difficult for this knight to hit the pawn here. So if the pawn is either here or there, the knight can't attack this directly. But actually, I defended this, too. Okay. Well. I guess, on account of this castle being invincible, my best plan is to spend seven moves running the king up here. And then conduct an attack. Like, unless I can find a way to split this... And I don't think I can. One, two, three, four, five, six moves. Five or six moves running the king. Wait, no, one, two, three, four. It's not that far. Four moves to get the king up here. Would be four moves well spent. <laughs> yeah, in chess you would never do that. In shogi, because all the pieces have a forward moving bias. Um, it's unusual for a king to escape, but the king is actually much safer on the top half of the board than on the bottom half. So unless I can find a mate in the next four moves, I think my king should run. And that will make it tremendously safer. Um, plus, it would attack this bishop, and the bishop's not defended. Now, granted, I don't know that they're going to keep this compact as it is, even with my dragon bearing down some pressure on the side. I don't know that they're going to make it easy for me to run. Um, yeah, they made it quite difficult for me to run. If they just played some dumb waiting move. Um, this would be a different affair. Okay. And I don't want to give them a pawn. Hmm. I have to be a bit generous. Um, yeah, let's get my bishop at, into play. Mm -hmm. 
And then let's also get my Rook into play. Hmm. Oh, I guess on the bright side, I do have files that I can use my pawns on now. Mm hmm. If I'd taken with one of these pieces, they would drop a knight, and that would be a fork. Therefore, I'm forced into this odd shape to avoid walking into a fork. Um, but the shape is temporary. And then I'll move the knight out of the way, and it'll be okay. Okay, this threatens to attack two pieces at once. Um, I'm just going to let them do this double attack because my gold can take here. And this bishop doesn't promote. Then we attack the bishop. So, if I could get this gold removed, I would have checkmate. Oh. Funny that I should say that. I can remove this gold. Thanks for the video. Yeah, don't time out and also don't promote the night. I had to think about that. It's important to get these details right. Hope you enjoyed this series. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.